Look at that. Uh, we're checking it's in the with... the blue-eyed wonder. Greg Warren. <laughs> As uh, in, I wonder why he's on the show? Stuff like that? <laughs> no. Oh. Hey, uh, Greg got a tremendous <laughs> letter mean. about uh, your shows last week. Another thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, well, I, wanna, I, I don't have it in front of me, but the essence of it was... <laughs> I can't believe uh, Greg Warren can make plantar fasciitis that funny. <laughs> Apparently, uh, you huh. have a, a, a hunk <laughs> on that particular topic. But uh, lots of love for the Greg Warren live shows. And I know you were at the uh, the Blue Note in Columbia, Missouri last Friday night. And that's where this person saw you and loved the show. Oh, that's so awesome. Congratulations. Um, also, we got a love letter about Pat Godwin. Uh, now, uh, let me just, before we get to your... To your... Uh, by the way, Greg, you don't know this, but federal law requires Tom to, if he mentions one comedian, he always has to mention Pat Godwin. I don't yeah, know. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's that's fair. Well, I'm a that. big Pat Godwin fan. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Who, uh, who is it? I'm a big Greg Warren fan. Oh, okay. Christ. If you guys right, are, welcome if, to the Maudlin Hour. Oh, wait a minute. I can make, <laughs> I, I can make, this, make this much more uncomfortable. If you guys were doing a show together, who would open? Well, I mean, Pat's got the guitar, so I'd probably open. Oh, well, Pat, your thoughts? You don't want to follow. You don't want to follow a yes. guitar. Act. I, I, nope. I turn. I turn the place into a tavern. <laughs> <laughs> screaming and shouting, singing along. You don't want to follow yeah. that. Yeah. Man. You can't follow you guys that are with plantar fasciitis <laughs> jokes. Come on. Um, <laughs> this Thursday night, it's going to be Burlington Auditorium in Burlington, Iowa, with Greg Warren. And then Friday, it's the Olympic Theater in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And Saturday, the Hastings City Auditorium in Hastings, Nebraska for some great... That's, uh, that's the lunch. following Saturday, Tom. Oh, sorry. Not, not this... Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Um, sorry. I'm, you're correct. Uh, February 11th is the Hastings City Auditorium in Hastings. All right. Yeah. So very, very good. And I'm sure it'll be some great live live comedy. And well, You know, jo Josh Arnold's mom's a big fan of mine, apparently. Oh, really? That's right. Yeah. She uh, She sent me a text last week. And she said, when are you and Craig Warner going to come to Tampa's Side Splitters? Oh, Craig Warner? Yeah, boy. No wonder she couldn't find your Amazon special. <laughs> she she does, called it, it me Craig funny. Warner. Yeah, Craig Warner. She loves you, man. But I, this is one of those parental, parental things. She got your name wrong. And it'll never. And how long have you two been friends? You and oh, the Warren, twelve, long time. Years. Yeah. 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 Warner and Arnold have been going forever. Yeah. yeah. Now, we were talking about Valentine's Day gifts, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. Greg, you know, you know Christy well enough though that she's already got her boyfriend a Valentine's Day gift. Yep. Oh well, yeah. It's unbelievable. Um, and uh, <laughs> maybe she's sitting on her Valentine's Day gift. Hey! Oh, oh my gosh. God! Wow. Both of them, kind of. Man, that was it's a, it's it's a. Th remember, she said it's a thing. Both it's a of them. Thing. Well, it's a thing. Yeah, you're crazy about it. Oh, it's a surprise. You're not telling. <laughs> give me that. No, thing. he listens. Why would I say? <laughs> give me that. Give me that. Give me. Give me. He listens to this show. Well, he says he does. Well, not this know. segment. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Craig Warner. Blame him. Craig Warner's on. Why would he listen now? <laughs> Craig. Um, Craig. But we were talking about gifts, and I asked you what Kelly got you for Christmas. It was kind of personal, but um, she, it was, um, my mother uh, was a really good cook. Right. And um, somewhere along the line, someone found her handwritten recipe for her. her she makes these amazing rolls. She made these amazing right. rolls. So it's it's a framed copy of that recipe. Oh, see, now that's a Oh, that's awesome, that's man. Well, that cost her four bucks. <laughs> she's like, Mike, no, get a frame. it's not the money. It's the <laughs> yeah. thoughtfulness yeah, and you, that she took the time. You really have to lean on <sighs> it's a thought that counts with that gift. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's it, I, I, I didn't make sure. It'll, 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 I'll, I'll, wow. I'll, I'll tear up and start crying. Oh, Did she make you the rolls? Um, no, oh, you just no, got to read will... about them. What a lovely <laughs> gift. Wait a second. Oh, well, we, remember, the, we weren't at home at Christmas time, so oh. she couldn't make... Uh, that's, but the, I'll have to... Has that, she made you the rolls? Um, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> is it uh, is it a yeast roll, Tom? Yeah, they're absolutely delicious. They're the, the best ever. And, uh, I'd uh, like the recipe. I if would I could. too. I, I should post well, it. Yeah. Hanging yeah. on their wall. She's his uh, Crisco, right? <laughs> Um, I, I haven't made him yet. Is oh, that I, the one? Is that written on? I have the SpongeBob notebook. Is that what it's written on the paper? Uh, it could be. I don't know. I, th I think it's it's in her. Really? Hand did right you say this. Crisco? Yes. Yeah. You know that was one of my products. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, when you when you worked for really? Procter and Gamble, oh, yeah, course. Crisco. Yeah. We uh, we brought the most uh, innovative thing in the history of the shortening and oil category. Crisco I remember sticks. what it is. Yeah, sticks. 
Yeah. If you guys don't know, you basically we took uh, <laughs> shortening and we put it in the form of a stick of butter. Yeah. Wrapped it in foil. Yeah. There's tablespoon markings on it so you don't have to uh, get your measuring cups all uh, greasy. Do they still <laughs> make them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, with butter flavor and regular. It's the best thing going in that category. <laughs> which is wow. a, 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 well, I'll tell you, uh, what, I'll I'll make my mom's uh, yeast rolls one of these days, and then I'll send you the recipe, Greg. In the meantime, I'm sorry, you you have a segment here that uh, I know that um, Josh's mom would enjoy hearing. Um, uh, but what's uh, our topic today? Well, I, I wanted to talk today about uh, competitive fishing, Tom. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know anything about that. Yeah, um, I didn't until I did some research. Uh, did you know this? Uh, uh, the early lures in fishing were made from a, a bone, stone, and wood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought just fishing. God damn it. Not this stupid thing. What happened? It said at the top of this article, it said 10 sport fishing facts to impress your friends with. <laughs> and you guys are my friends, and I can hear it over the phone. You're not impressed. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Clickbait. You're a bunch of crap. <laughs> I thought the fishermen just stood on shore and said, you're fishy, fishy, fishy. Isn't that how they... they caught them with their hands. Yeah. You're fishy, yeah. fishy, fishy. And fish calling was one of the finer yes. arts of... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who <laughs> fish? Who <laughs> <laughs> fish? Blub, 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 blub. Fish! You know, I... I uh, Come on, uh, Tom, join in. Fish! Greg, uh, uh, this is... I never met my dad's dad because he, he died in, like, 1930. I heard you were coming, yeah. But um, <laughs> he, uh, he left behind a tackle box... Oh, yeah? Did your girlfriend give it to you for your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> that was full of ancient booze. I mean, of lures. Uh, she wiped it I off mean, and gave all, it to like, Fly fishing amazing. lures? Uh, yeah, all this stuff. It was probably quite collectible. Probably. Of course, it's yeah. your grandfather. Why wouldn't it be collectible? I don't know. I mean, Where I'm, is it now? I'd like to have that. I, I, too. I don't know. Was it my answer? I mean, I'm not kidding. It was... Hey, go find it. God like, wants it. Go these, get it. These I wooden it. things with, like, fish stuff pa hand-painted with these uh -huh. rusty big hooks on it. Right. Yeah, those are lures, yeah. That's uh -huh. So... I mean, uh, I've seen some of the classic fishing stuff. Man, oh, man. Uh, There's no. all kinds of different lures. Josh, you're a fisherman, right? Yes, sir. Uh, what do you use? <laughs> I, I use all kinds of things. Crankbaits, topwater. Spinnerbait? Yeah, crankbait. Sure. Yeah. They're, they're getting these poor fish addicted to methamphetamine. I, I can't <laughs> believe that's going on. It's well, we figured, hey, it works for people. Why not uh, these fishies? And boy, yeah, they Yeah, there's uh, the Texas uh, rig plastic worm. Yep. Uh, they got this. Uh, the, the guys in the Bassmasters use an alphabet bait. You heard of that, Josh? Yes. What's that? The Bagley B, the Cordell Big O, <laughs> and the Norman Big N. Yeah. yeah. That's right. The Are they shaped like baits? letters? I don't understand. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, essentially. Uh, then there's these things called uh, poppers, which, jo Josh, I know you like those jalapeno poppers. I, I do love that. those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like a whopper plopper. Uh, that's a good uh, top water bait. Whopper hmm. plopper. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. It splashes fish, right? Or it splashes water. Yeah. Yeah, the fish think it's something above the water. They want to grab it. Yep. Yeah. There's Better a they think up it's there. poppers. They think it's Studio Fifty Four. Nineteen Seventy Seven again. It's time to go to the boys' room and get in your knees. Well, some of those spinner baits look like disco balls, so I can see that. The fish have knees. Just ask. I, I, don't, so. I don't think so. Uh, there's. Uh, I learned there's a bunch of different techniques these guys have uh, perfected over the years. There's the. Uh, it's a way to, I guess, make. Make the bait look like it's uh, trapped under vegetation. There's the uh, Tommy Biffle in invented pitching. Uh, D. Thomas created the flipping technique. Mm -hmm. uh, Bell Biv DeVoe did the smack it up, flip it, <laughs> rub it down. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> they, they sure did. Love the Bell Biv DeVoe. And they caught yeah. many fish. <laughs> A lot of fish. A lot of fish for that one. Uh, did you guys know there's the, like uh, high school fishing now? Like there's there's actual state-sponsored uh, high school fishing teams. It's pretty awesome. They're like there's really talented anglers in those. Yeah, man. I uh, that means there's got to be fishing coaches, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have fishing? Well, you guys sucked out there today. <laughs> <laughs> About as poor as an effort as I've seen on a body of water. Timmy can't get his. 
hook tied. <laughs> Francis doesn't know the difference between a catfish and a bass. And Marty pulled a damn shoe out of the lake. <laughs> I'm gonna run you. I'm gonna run you all night. <laughs> Then we're going to cast. We're going to cast till your arm falls off. <laughs> I hear any of you crybabies whining. We're going to do it all over again. <laughs> this ain't kitty fishing. You want a kitty fish? You get a hot dog, you get a bobber, and you get off my fishing team. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you could tell Greg Warren was a wrestler. Yeah. And was your, your dad a coach? Yeah, yes. he was my coach, Tom. Well, you've, you've really got that coach... That whole thing down. God, that's... So, yeah, I, I had several coaches. Yeah, My dad was... Uh, <laughs> yeah, he was my coach. He, uh, he used to lie to us. I don't know if I've told you that. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> just just get you all worried. Uh, guys, next week's going to be the toughest match of your lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Especially you, Gregory. You've got the Russian. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Russian kid transferred in from Russia six weeks ago. He's a nine-time Russian national champ. You better get ready, son. <laughs> I'd work hard all week getting ready for the Russian. I'd get to the match and be like, Dad, Dad he doesn't look Russian. He's Russian. <laughs> There's Lopez on the back of his jacket. <laughs> Southern Russian. Watch out. They're the sneaky ones. <laughs> uh, it's some... Uh, some fun facts about fishing. Uh, uh, the Egyptians were probably the first ones to fish. That was uh, 4,000 B.C. Mm, mm. Uh, what, what's the, you know, you guys know who caught the, the biggest fish ever on record? Mm, no. Gosh? No. That's Alfred Dean, 1959. He caught a great white shark, 2,664 pounds. What? <laughs> Oh, sure, he used he a porpoise did. as a uh -huh. bait. A porpoise? <laughs> porpoise was the bait. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Interestingly enough, he wasn't fishing for great white shark. He was he was uh, fishing for uh, bluegill. Wow, <laughs> well, that's, that's certainly overkill. There. So, yeah. and, and the line didn't break. Amazing. That, that's a skilled fisherman. Well, how look. do you even bait yeah. a porpoise? Yeah, no I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's. <laughs> Uh, uh, the fastest fish ever caught was doing 68, 68 miles per hour. Whoa. Um, Some kind of marlin or superstitions. Sin? Josh, do you have superstitions as a fisherman? A little bit. Yeah. What, uh, what, what do they have? They have, uh, don't, uh, don't get on a boat with no name. Yeah. That's yeah, big. That's a famous one. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't pump gas before you're going fishing. I've never heard that. Yeah, apparently that maybe something about the gas the fish can smell. Hmm. Uh, and don't you're not supposed to have bananas on boats. Have you heard this? Yeah, I have, I heard, have that. heard that. Like, yeah. Really? Yeah, it's bad luck. Hmm. I always thought it was a banana peel slipping thing. Like if you if there are bananas, there are banana peels lying around. You can step on one slip into the water. Oh, it's a hazard. Oh yeah, yeah. man. Did I ever tell you about that? Mark Gross told me uh, him and his buddies they were helping somebody move one time when they were in college. And uh, and and they were eat, they were taking a break, eating a banana, and they were like, "Hey, just joking." They're like, "Hey, eh, it'll be like the cartoons, you know, because uh, you guys always slip on banana peels." So they threw a banana peel down, and their friend walked down, slipped on the banana peel, and threw a TV. A TV <laughs> and, they, <laughs> and they've never told them about it. Since. <laughs> uh, you know who the richest fisherman ever is, Josh? Guy that's won the most money. Oh no. That's Kevin Van Dam. You know, oh, sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So Over he's, he's at the million. top right now? Seven he is million dollars fishing? Seven million in, 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 from fishing. Now, uh, That's his brother, Jean-Claude, uh, <laughs> <laughs> made 40 million. Uh, uh, worth for, he made five million on time cop alone. I probably <laughs> would imagine so, yeah. That. Uh, David Dudley, I think, is number two. Aaron Martins, he goes by Amart. Uh, Skeet Reese, which that doesn't sound like a fisherman, sounds like a shooter to me. <laughs> <laughs> what a great name. And then, uh, honorable mention, the, the only, the first guy that I recognized was Roland Martin. Oh, sure. Oh, mention. yeah. Yeah. On TV a lot. Uh, most yeah, famous was... fisherman, guys. Hemingway? And it, yes. <laughs> you got it, Tom. No, I was joking. Really? Yeah, Ernest, they have Ernest Hemingway is the most famous fisherman Ernest Hemingway caught a 553-kilogram marlin at one point. Oh, There's a famous picture where he's standing with it. I think that's the one. 
And I, I guess uh, the uh, old sports announcer, announcer uh, Kurt Gowdy, was a, a famous uh, fisherman. Huh. Oh. Yeah, and then a guy named Zane Gray. Tom, are you familiar with him? Yeah. Western author? Yeah. Who's the NBA guy that's... Paul George is a big fisherman. I know that. Plays for the Clippers. Is, is oh, he, really? Did, yeah. There's one, yeah. yeah um, there's another guy that... It doesn't, uh, doesn't Michael Jordan have, like, a fishing team? I think he has a NASCAR team. I know, you know, I know, I know he had a, a motorcycle team for a while. I think he has a fishing... Let me look that up. Hmm. I'll, I'll find out. Uh... This was big on the internet. Uh, you guys probably covered it, but there was uh, some guys that got caught cheating in a fishing tournament in Ohio. Uh, yeah, Jake Runyon and Chase Comiskey. Yeah, that was huge. That was big in Lake Erie. They had weights and they yeah, were stuffing yes. it with the legs. Yeah, yeah. They were yeah they, a walleye. Uh, they were stuffing it with weights. Yeah, and uh, walleye meat. Yeah. Well, you got to cover I up think the weights. Might have been the walleye. They want them looking yeah. down there. Little throats and see the weights in there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. It's, and t- so that when they would squeeze them, sure. it would feel like walleye. Yeah. Meat. Yeah. Here uh, to interrupt you, Greg. Yeah, Michael Jordan um, uh, has a, a fishing boat, and he's he's caught some huge. <laughs> he's, well, that's he, he, in this than contest, he caught a 25 pound <laughs> dolphin fish in last year's tournament. Oh, that's pretty cool. What else does he? Have? No, no. I mean, he's he's an avid fisherman. That's it, chick. That's the only thing he's done with his money. He's got. He's, he's, Got him a, a John boat. Well, I bet when he's out there, he's still gambling. <laughs> I bet my fish is bigger than yours. Greg, do you fish? <laughs> no, no. You ever? I mean, as a kid, it, 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 the bobber and the, you don't use bobbers when you're after you're a kid, right? No, you still. Well, I mean, you depending can. on what yeah. you're. Yeah, Fine. you still can. You sit on a dock drinking beer. Yeah. I'm not sure they have a bobber tournament. No, I don't think so. <laughs> maybe they do. God knows. Maybe some catfishers, cat, catfish, fishermen. Yeah. Uh, Fishy fish. With a little dough ball. You don't have to, but yeah. I I don't, but oh. it's fun. Yeah, I I I I would maybe I need to get back into it. I eat a lot of fish, so I probably should. Yeah, see what you're working with there. Oh yeah. Well, would you yeah. fillet your own fish then? Yeah, only eat what you catch, right? I don't. I mean, see I don't you. think I enjoy doing it. I don't. What do you mean you don't see me doing that? You're saying I'm not manly, Christy? I didn't say that. I just don't. I'll see say you it. As I, a don't, fish I don't think filler. you're manly enough, Greg. <laughs> Yeah, off Shut the air, mouth, chick. Greg. Uh, Greg, off the air. Ask uh, Josh to tell you a story about a fishing tournament. It's not suitable for. Oh, yeah, it's uh, pretty so, brutal. Yeah, well, this guy wasn't using porpoise. I'll yeah. just say that. We'll, yeah, was... we'll tell you about that later. Uh, Greg Warren, once again, a great stand up after a huge show in, at the Blue Note in Columbia. Um, he's going to be this Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. I'm getting this right, Greg. This Thursday, Burlington Auditorium, Burlington, Iowa, Friday. The Olympic Theater in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Then a week from Saturday, Hastings City Auditorium in Hastings, Nebraska. Got it right? Yes. Thanks, Tom. Okay. Well, thank you, Greg. It's always a great pleasure. You're looking good. Um, I, I'm disappointed you didn't wear your city hat again today. <laughs> well, Christy doesn't care for it. <laughs> I, I didn't say that. It's not the hat. I don't care for the you name. You said it was a stupid name. It is. Well, the soccer it's a team. stupid name. What are they, a soccer team? <laughs> yeah. They're yeah, called the, the MLS. They're called yeah. the St. Louis City. That's right. That's our inaugural uh, uh, year. Uh, we start here soon, I think. Okay. You and I are going to go. Um, that's That would be great, man. Yeah, it would be fun. Well, okay. you both sound tough like ticket you're, right now. Really, uh, you're really up for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, like Greg said, it's a tough ticket. We don't know if we can get in. <laughs> Thanks very I'm much, sure. Greg. We got to go. I got two. Got two for the city. Got two. 